Okay guys, how's it going? So I just wanted to make this short video just to provide a little bit of an insight into our client programming within Athletic Aesthetic. Now, it goes without saying, obviously everyone that we work with receives a tailored training program. This is fully determined by obviously their goals, their time availability, you know, their schedule, how many days a week they want to train and the setup of their training as well. So what I mean by that is we have some clients who want to prioritize you know more strength and bodybuilding training and they might just pick up one or two runs a week because they enjoy it and they just want to maintain their aerobic fitness and then we have some other clients that are more performance focused and they are for example prepping for races and they're just in well we are incorporating strength training and bodybuilding training into their routine to actually just complement their performance goals now we've got an example of a client here who i think is a good example of someone who has he is very evenly split in terms of his goals and what i mean by that is he wants to improve his body composition, so we have been building muscle over the last eight months, and he also wants to improve his performance. Now, he, wants, he will personally wants to improve his performance through getting better at running, and we're actually prepping him to, to do a 10K time trial at the moment, and he really enjoys cycling, so we've integrated that into his program together. And he came to us from a background of, as I say, more kind of strength and bodybuilding focus, and he also liked cycling, and he wanted to kind of learn how to integrate those two forms of training together and have it in a program that works with his lifestyle. This client is a very busy individual and he has a fashion business in New York and he quite frequently travels from New York to Milan. So you can imagine, you know, his schedule is absolutely packed, but we've built a program that works for him that is sustainable. He's never missed sessions. He never feels kind of overwhelmed with the volume of training. So just wanted to run you over his training split. So what we did was we put in three strength sessions per week a full body session, an upper body session, and a lower body training session. Now, this allows him to hit each major muscle group in his body twice per week, which is optimal for strength and hypertrophy. So this is allowing him to kind of fulfill his physique focus goal. And then in between the strength training sessions, we have put in two runs. Now, because this client is focusing on trying to run a fast 10K, trying to run a 42 minute 10K, we've put in two speed focus sessions per week. So you can see here, we have a tempo run and we have an interval training run. Now on the tempo run, he is running a kind of extended period at a target pace. And then on the interval sessions, he's running shorter segments at a faster pace. And then he also has a bike workout in on the weekend. He tends to do this with friends, more as a kind of just enjoyment on the weekend, but obviously it does contribute to building his aerobic fitness as well. In terms of the strength training, within each strength training session, we are very much focused on performance in the gym as well. So we have a big emphasis on the compound movements. You can see here we have the deadlift, the incline dumbbell press, the back squat, the standing barbell overhead press, row variations, lunges, and other exercises like that. So every client on the program, well, every client that we have on the program, we're always encouraging them to progressively overload and build strength week in, week out. This client is in a high volume block of training. You can see here we are doing a, a training structure with his rep ranges of broad pyramid sets. So he's doing six working sets, 10, 8, 6, 6, 8, 10. You can see here the client is attaching videos of, of his training for us to review as well. And another big thing that came up with this client in the consultation form was because of the amount of traveling that he was doing um, and potentially some kind of incorrect training earlier on his, in his kind of lifting journey, he actually was experiencing quite a lot of back pain. So we actually ran some online assessments to assess not only his flexibility, but also his mobility and stability in the lower body. From there, we were basically able to deduce that his posterior hip was tight. So he had very, very tight glutes, which was causing you know, lower back pain and it was causing the lower back to get too involved when he was doing movements like deadlifts and squats. So essentially we've integrated some active mobility work into his routine here. You can see posterior hip stretch pulse, and then we put in some very specific kind of single leg RDL work there to essentially increase range in the hip and then strengthen those muscles there. And, you know, we do have some other variations in his program here, kind of that kind of very specific to him. So we've got the barbell curse, you to try and not only open up his hips more, gain mobility in the hips and the glutes, but also strengthen them as well. So this is kind of the level of detail that we will go into with each client's training program. Obviously, some clients do not have injuries like that and niggles, um, so we don't need to address that. But when we do need to do that, and when you know all of our clients are focusing on performance, it's really, really important that, our, that we are addressing those issues. So I think this client is a really good example of an even hybrid training split as well, in the sense that he's improving his physique through the strength training, 
and controlling his nutrition, but he's also chasing down performance goals as well through his 10K time trial. So just a bit of an insight there. And um, there's definitely certainly no you know generic programming going on here.